finally, we have a high quality post showing every Generation 8 shiny Pokemon. This is hype, and it's what I've been waiting for because I've seen a few of them. A couple of retweets, a couple of shares but not all in one place, and the threads end up getting buried or something weird like that. So if you end up enjoying the video, don't forget to leave a like, share it with your friends, and comment down below which shiny is your favorite, or which shinies are your favorite, and also which ones do you not like anymore, because there's always a few. There's always a few shinies that just get worse than the original Pokemon, so we're going to see how that goes. If you want my thoughts on all of the Generation 8 Pokemon in general, you can find that in the description down below. So let's get into it. Grookey Evolutionary Line. Actually, when it comes to all the starters, the starters were weird because Grookey's evolution, when it was first being leaked back on November 1st, that looked shiny. And then it just stopped making sense. Same thing for Sobble. Score Bunny, alright, that seems pretty straightforward. Like, the white stayed white, the red stayed red. Didn't really see, like, too much of a crazy color change. Black is a new addition. But then, when we get into Sobble's evolution, there's absolutely no way that isn't shiny. Except it wasn't shiny. That's just legit. And the weird thing about Sobble's... Oh, we are going to have to calm down on that scrolling. The weird thing about Sobble's evolution is that it makes more sense shiny. Then instead of getting like the green oven mitts compared to the yellow fin, we got pink. We got pink. We got pink. There's more continuity in shiny Sobble's color than its base form, which is really weird to me. Also, I didn't really talk too much about Kruki. I think the colors are nice. This is what you would expect out of a grass starter Pokemon, or a lot of grass Pokemon getting a shiny, shiny form. Nice autumn colored, a little more subdued. I like it. I think it's pretty good. Uh, Sobble's, it's like cotton candy and... I'm not really sure how to feel about Inteleon. Like, Sobbles is cool. You see that, you pop up. It's not, like, bright, saturated shiny, but it's a different color enough to where you can really tell it's shiny. Cotton candy emo over there. But then Inteleons, I don't know. I really don't like it when you just take, like, a pastel blue with the white on a shiny Pokemon. I don't really think it looks that great. Um, that was Zygarde, right? Yeah, also it's more teal or greenish, but whatever. I just don't like that flat color with a lot of white around it, and that's not really doing it for me when it comes to Inteleon. Uh, let's also just like scroll, scroll back to the left and we'll just kind of cover it like this. I wanted to get the starters, but there's also these Pokemon. Thievul and Nicket, this is what shiny is supposed to be. That is cool. Whenever you get a gray shiny Pokemon, that usually sells really hard. And then, this was one of the most common theories for what Zigzagoon and Shiny would be. You throw in some red, and it's going to be amazing. Red and teal, though. Bold choice by Game Freak, and I don't know if I like it or not. Like, it's so wild and out there that I think it works. But it also takes away kind of like that intimidation, that dark element from Obstagoon. I don't know. The red is on point. The green, it's like... Both hitting and missing at the same time. I'll take it. Like, it looks good on uh, Zigzagoon. It is one of those things. Like, real men wear pink. Real men wear teal and pink. I think Obstagoon can pull it off. Next up, we have Wooloo. This is another one that a lot of people are looking for. It's like, alright, red Obstagoon, black Wooloo, GG, easy, free. And then double's cool because it actually inverts the splotches on its main body type. And then we have Score Bunny's evolutionary line. Solid. Like, getting the orange, that happens. You know, it's kind of like when you look at Torchic Shiny. Not really too much of a change. That's awesome. I'm already a big fan of Raboot, but getting, like, the dark gray fur into that, keeping the theme going, that's pretty cool. And then, yeah, Cinderace, that's a solid Shiny. We take those. Also, I want to make a quick note. think I got pretty close to my Shiny Obstagoon prediction. Photoshop OP. Back to it, though. I don't care about Chewdle and Dreadnought at all, so... Damn it, they gave it Bowser colors. And that means that it's slightly better. Uh, this doesn't really do much of anything. It's kind of... This, did they even change Blipbug? What? I, I, I'm just going to keep having... Yeah, so it's like purplish, orange, and purplish blue. Wow. And then they just kind of changed a little bit. Yeah, I didn't really see too much with that. I'm actually disappointed in Shiny Yamper and Shiny Bulltown. Like, not really too much changes either. Bulltown keeps, like, its main color, and then it's a little bit softer. And Yamper is pink. Got it. Ooh, Eldegoss in its pre-evolution is pretty fancy, though. Um, that actually just looks like a flower. 
that kind of has like Flavebe colors and vibes to it. That's pretty nice. And then Aldegoss going into that more autumnish kind of color, but not quite. You know, it, it has like that, once again, a very palette kind of tone to it. The soft skin tones with the black, that works pretty well. Uh, we have Corviknight's evolutionary line. Can't go wrong with the gray. That's another one that people want to see. It's like, all right, give us the gray Corviknight. That's how you have to make it shiny. I really like Corvusquires. And another thing is like, when I first saw Corvusquire, I'm like, wait, was that shiny from the leaks? Because there's just something weird with like what they did to push the colors of these Pokemon. Like when you look at Corviknight, Corviknight was revealed first. We knew that this was the Pokemon. So when you see that, it's like, oh, is it shiny blue or something? That seems just like a little too light colored for where Corviknight ends up. But no, that's, that's just how it was. Since the Scorch and its pre-evolution gets a gnaw from me, that red and that teal, like the dark faded teal, that does not look that great. Uh, what else would you expect from Roly Coley? They kind of, again, just kind of throw down, like, the teal color, change up the rock, make it a bit more gray and stuff. And Squivet Greedant, or Greedant, they're okay. Like, at shiny, it's different, but it's not, like, a spectacular, absolutely incredible kind of shiny. Um, Aracuda and Barracuda, they're alright. Barracuda looks better. Like, I, it's just the weird contrast of its, like, brown head that I don't like. I also really don't like it, the design's face too much, but Aracuda, it's a happy, indifferent little arrow fish Pokemon, and that's that's pretty cool looking. Then for Meowth, like, Galarian Meowth and its evolution didn't really make too much sense, so that's a thing, but oh my goodness, all creamy with the 100% success right there. The gray and the pinkish red, that's cool. Also, even the pre-evolution looks like more ghosty, which is kind of nice. That is insane. That's kind of like when you see Minior on the inside, it's like, oh, Black Minior, OP, they did it. That was the, exactly the color that needed to happen if they wanted to make an awesome shiny. Flapple, insanely saturated. My retinas burn just looking at it. I'll take those, the Appalachian Evolutionary Line. That's kind of cool. Surfetched, gold. Okay, like, Surfetched was kind of weird on the reveal. It's like, it's just like a pure white Pokemon out of the Farfetch. So that's definitely a shiny. Cursula and Corsula Galarian form doesn't really look too much different, but you can tell it has like that, a bit of that shininess. Is it the color inversion? Is that what's going on here? Oh, that's actually really clever to the point where my brain broke. Like when I think of a different Corsula, I've just grown up with pink Corsula so much my entire life that this felt like the shiny for Corsula. That I thought that base Corsula had pink to it, so I wasn't figuring out where it was. No, base Corsula is just all white. So, making the Galarian form of a Pokemon shiny the base color of the original form, that is some insanity. I really like it. I can respect that. That's some cool stuff. What is going on here? This is, this is some nonsense. So, Impidimps is bad. That's a cool color combination, but I think that Grimmsnarl is like one of the worst Pokemon ever made. So, yeah, like, that's kind of whatever. So, save that for something else. I will give it credit for not being as bad as the other, like, white combinations I talked about. Because I guess just, like, when you get that right color. Purplish, like a light purple plus white. That's good. That's pretty nice. And let's just scroll down like this. Ah, so that's going to be the shiny Ponyta and the Rapidash. That's tough. You know, the base Galarian Ponyta was already amazing and tough to beat, but I mean, that's shiny. And if you already, like, have the established difference, that's that's pretty good looking shiny. But, Runarigus, dang. I love the purple. I love the green. That is ace color theory right there, and it works. I might have to shiny hunt that. I might have to go for one of those guys. That just looks too cool to not have. The neon... The color combination, it just works so well. Uh, that's probably what Santa Cobra should have looked like. You know, I like the gray more for that rock tone than the ground. Like, you could have still been like, oh yeah, that's a ground type Pokemon. You could have done everything that it needed for the Santa Conda. Did I get like, did I call it Santa Cobra? Did I get these two Pokemon's names mixed up? I don't like them anyway, so. Yeah, like the Santa Conda. For, done. Just do it like that. GG easy. Um... I don't think you can beat the purple on the base Toxtricity, so Shiny was going to be a hard sell. Like, maybe pure white, maybe pure black. That would have been, like, where you put your full black Pokemon, but guess it didn't. And 
Cramorant. Palette swap. Colors. I'm guessing we got some Miami Hurricane fans out there that are like, yo, I'd take that. So that's what I'm getting. I'm getting I'm getting Miami Hurricanes vibes from that one. Uh Q fan and Copper Raja. It's like slightly noticeably different. The copper in this Pokemon's name doesn't really sell as much when it's shiny. And then I don't really think there's too much of a difference of that other green color. Like it might be a little changed, but not really too much. Then we go into this. The hat evolutionary line. I don't know. I think it's just kind of like what's closer to your favorite color. Because I don't think there's anything wrong with the base forms and the colors. I think it looks well. And this doesn't really change it too much. Where it's like, whoa, shiny. But it's also still a really pleasing tone. Like, that could have just been the normal. And the other one could have been shiny. And it wouldn't make any difference. So, I don't know what that says about the shiny. But it says something, I think. Holdy guys is pretty cool. And it's pre-evolution. Uh... The insides changing would, like, make sense and not make sense because it's supposed to be Spectral T. So if we got, like, some kind of different color change, that'd be cool. But just changing the outside, that's something that we see when it comes to a lot of shiny Pokemon and stuff like that. Duraludon. Looking pretty cool. Like, there was just such little saturation in color or anything going on with Duraludon. So that makes it a little better. The fossils, though. Just getting, like, weird grayed and then some purple. They're already abominations, so I don't know what saves it. Indeedy, not really too many changes. More Pico. Eh. I guess we need to see, like, what its form changes, but I'm not really sold on that one. However, guys, the Phalanx, getting the bronze armor, leveling up in RuneScape. I'll take that. All right, what's Frostmoth got? It's okay. I guess it kind of gets some fire, you know, in it. Maybe trying to call that to Volcarona. It's shiny. Pulling off a Clever Clever like we saw with some of the other shinies. Then we have Dreepy's Evolutionary Line. That's a good color. Like, that green, yellow, electric kind of color to it. Kind of works for the head. But then the rest of it kind of seems the same. And I think that that's just a, like transparency on the tail from when it was cropped out and photoshopped from the decks. So that's really, really not too much different. Zacian, though. Well, Cyan. Well, Magenta. That's, that's cool. Add some hard magenta into some, like, reddish colors. I think that's burgundy, right? I don't know, but that, that's pretty cool. I, I used to be a huge fan of, like, the blue and, like, the aqua blue colors and stuff. Then kind of shifted more to red as I grew up. I was like, yeah, that's pretty nice. Those are really cool. Unfortunately, they're shiny lock, though. And I'm going to have to say the same goes for Eternatus. So until we get the events, not going to have any way of getting those. But overall... Oh, wait, I missed I missed some of the ones up here. Um, that looks more Lucha, so good for him. That's just bad. Pink Urchin, all black. So that's what I mean. Like, that's where they put their all black shiny. Really? Okay, and it is a color change. So I'm like, well, Pink Urchin's dark, but it's not black like that. So that's cool. They did a thing there, and they did a thing there. That looks hilarious and very... The saturation. If it wasn't such a stupid Pokemon, that'd work probably pretty well. And then Stone Jorner looks more like stone. That's my Minecraft mon. I want to get that shiny for Minecraft. That's kind of all I have to say about it. So, there we go, guys. Hope you all enjoy the video. Breaking down the Generation 8 shiny decks. Giving a little bit of my thoughts on the Pokemon as well. And came out some cool stuff. Overall, like, not really many bad ones that kind of destroy the Pokemon and a lot of just better ones, so that's cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.